Hey guys, my name is Connor from Affinity Collective, and today we're going to be talking about proper PC maintenance. A lot of people neglect the proper care of their computers, and it can often lead to a slow or dead PC. Today we're going to go through the virtual and hardware side of cleaning a PC. Let's begin with the physical aspect of cleaning your PC. Dust and debris builds up over time in a computer and can lead to serious problems. By removing the dust buildup, you'll increase positive airflow, which will keep your components cooler which, in turn, will increase their lifespan. You'll need a few things to clean your computer. First off, you'll want a screwdriver, potentially to open the case, but also to remove the GPU and any other component you want to isolate to clean more thoroughly. You'll need a few paintbrushes of varying sizes, a roll of tape, a couple Q-tips, some isopropyl alcohol, 90% or greater only, and a method of shooting air at the computer. For that last one, there are a couple different options. The most popular probably being a couple cans of compressed air that you can buy at your local hardware store or online for less than $20. You can also use my preferred method which is an actual air compressor. Or you can opt for a more out of the box solution such as a leaf blower. Begin by powering off the computer and unplugging all the cords you have on your computer. Then you'll want to remove the side panels and any other additional panel that may be removable from the main chassis of the case. Let's get to cleaning. Start at the top of the case and work your way down, giving it a quick once over. If you're using compressed air, make sure to do so in bursts, because long releases will waste some of the compression you can get out of the can. Beginning with the CPU heatsink, we're going to remove all the dust in between the fins. Then we're going to move on to the fan, making sure that the blades are prevented from moving, either by taping them down or just holding it. You can then use a Q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol to clean the fine dust off of anything plastic. Just remember to keep away from any capacitors or something that could be more delicate. Move on to the GPU focusing on the back of it, using a brush to help remove the fine dust. Then, make sure to get any of the dust out of the heatsink and do it once over the fans on the GPU. Our next focus is the motherboard. Make sure to get any dust off the heatsinks and then move on to the power supply. Remember while cleaning a fan you want to prevent it from rotating. The compressed air can make it go faster than it's rated for and that can ruin the fan. Now we move on to the fun part, or the not so fun part I guess. This is the slow and meticulous removal of all the fine dust on the computer. You can do this with a combination of q-tips, brushes, and the occasional blast of air. This point is really just for aesthetics, so it's up to you how much you want to work on. Make sure to wipe down the exterior of the case to restore it to its former glory. I used a rag with some isopropyl alcohol, but you could also use water or just some blasts of air. It depends on how clean you're trying to get it. Now that we've cleaned the hardware, let's start cleaning up the junk stored inside. If you don't already have security software in your computer, then shame on you. Malwarebytes, AVG, and Norton are all suitable softwares. Start off by using security software to run a full system scan. I suggest running ADW Cleaner, which will remove adware, toolbars, potentially unwanted programs, and browser hijackers from your computer. Resolve any issues and then let's update our drivers. Download IOBIT's free driver booster software and also download the system care software from IOBIT. All links will be in the description below. While you're down there, consider dropping a like and if you're new, subscribe. Open up the driver booster software and click through all the options to update your drivers. After you've installed drivers, do a computer restart. Now open up the system care software that we just installed. Click on all the options and hit run. Again, restart after you've ran this program. Next, we're going to run the Windows Update. For Vista and Windows 7, click on the Start menu and type in Windows Update. Click on the icon and then click Search your Updates. It can take anywhere from several minutes to several hours depending on how many updates there are and your internet speed, so just be patient. The computer may restart during this updating process. Once completed, make sure to do a little bit more cleaning. Start by running a disk defrag which helps increase your computer hard drive speeds. You can do so in Windows 7 by clicking on the start button and then searching for defrag. It'll pop up as Windows Defragmenter. You can also use third party software like Iobit's Smart Defrag, but the built in Windows 1 will do the trick. Consider deleting your old documents, pictures, and any other files that could be bogging down your system. Go through your hard drive and see if there's anything you can remove. Specifically check in the My Documents part of your hard drive as it is the default download location for a lot of different things. The last step is to remove any extra bloatware that you may have installed on your computer. Don't uninstall anything if you don't know what it is. It could be important. A quick Google search however will tell you what that program does. 
Deleting the extra files on your desktop can specifically help with boot speeds, so if there's things that you don't use regularly, consider deleting them or moving them to a different location. If you have any questions or need assistance, leave a comment below and JD will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you guys enjoy your newly cleaned PC. Make sure you keep up with your proper computer care by doing this every 6 months. If you have a pet that sheds heavily, then do it every 3 to 4 months to keep your computer running at its finest. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And as always, subscribe for more content from Affinity Collective. I hope to see you guys next time.